Hi, Richard from Tmall Games here. In my last video, I went through the process of getting your Logitech F710 wireless gamepad to work with Windows 10. And the response has been amazing. In fact, <coughs> we are actually up to 34,000 plus views. Thanks for the comments, by the way. And you know what? Based on the feedback, a lot of people have been asking me how to calibrate their gamepad. So I thought I'd make this very quick video on just that. How to calibrate your gamepad, your Logitech F710 gamepad. But in truth, it should work with any other gamepad as well. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is go to the top of your device and you see a switch. You want to, if it's not already there, you want to change it from X to D mode. All right, make sure it's on D mode. If it was on X before, put it on D mode and wait a few seconds while Windows redetects it and reinitializes the drivers. When that's complete, in Windows 10, you can right click on your start button and open up the control part, panel. So in the control panel, the next step is we are going to hardware and sound then devices and printers. Depending on the number of devices that you have con connected, this may take a few seconds to show up. In Windows 10, my Logitech F710 is being detected as and displayed as the Logitech Cordless Rumble Pad 2. Doesn't matter, this is my device, so I'm going to use this. This is the icon I'm going to be um, selecting. I select it and I right click and I go Game Controller Settings, Properties, and this is a very important screen here. In this screen, I can actually test out the buttons of my gamepad to make sure they are all firing and make sure that Windows is detecting them. But in D mode, not all may show up. So let me just go through some of them. All the four buttons on the right hand side, buttons one, two, three, and four, that is the four buttons in an anti clockwise uh, sort of rotation one two three and four also your d-pad should be identified here your d-pad is the thing shaped like a cross so you can move this up and down kind of thing so you can make sure that it's showing up in the point of view hat which is on the bottom right hand corner and this left hand side you will have your main joystick, which is on the left hand side, your left hand joystick. If I go left, it should go left, right, and I can do all of this. Right? The right hand joystick is responsible for the Z axis and the Z rotation, or the Z axis and the Z rotation. So to verify that that's working, go left and right for the Z or Z axis and up and down for the Z or Z rotation. If you go in a circle, you'll get this cool <laughs> animation. All right. So this is actually quite um, useful as well before calibration because you can tell from this whether or not your buttons are working. And if not, the problem most likely would lie 
with your device. Game pads tend to get dirty. Um, if they get wet, they can cause a lot of problems. All right, but if you have passed this test, all your buttons are working, then you can go on and calibrate it. To calibrate it, you go to the next tab and hit calibrate. So the first bit of calibration is to your left joystick. What you need to do is to take your left joystick and make sure you could get you get the cross on all four corners. So here I go. One, two. Now if it does not reach the corner, that's fine. But let's keep it in the corner for a couple seconds, then go to the next one. Couple seconds. Couple seconds. And there I go. So I have all four corners. Now note, when you have done it properly, you have centered the joystick. In other words, the cross should be in the center of the square uh, in the screen. Go next. All right, so let's go ahead and do the Z-axis. The Z-axis or Z-axis is the right joystick. Let's go ahead. The Z-axis is left and right, so we go left and right. Go next. We go up and down for Z or Z rotation. Up and down. And then we go next. Et voila, we're done. So now our joystick is properly calibrated. It is the cross is directly in the center. And now we need to apply the changes. Apply and OK. All right, so just to recap in this video, uh, you learned how to calibrate your gamepad as well as to test your buttons outside of a game environment to make sure that you know they are indeed working and Windows is registering the button presses. Thanks for watching.